I would like to share with you how to give presents with presents. That's P-R-E-S-E-N-T-S -E -E with P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E. -E. When you select a present or a gift for someone, um, you know, the best gifts are the most thoughtfully selected. It's really important to think about the person that you're giving the gift to so that you can select something really special for that person. And it's not about a lot of money or a lot of time, but it is about thinking about that person, what they like, what their interests are, what their hobbies are, what they collect. And it's also about listening to that person. Throughout the year, people drop hints all the time about possible gift items that you could give to them. For instance, people say, some people say, I'm difficult to buy for, buy a gift for. I have so many things. Well, I do have a lot of things. I'm blessed and I collect the different things. But the people who truly know me, they pay attention throughout the year or they just know that if they purchase, for instance, I collect teacups. If they find a really special teacup somewhere in a resale shop or an uh, antiques co-op or something, it doesn't matter what the price tag is on it. But if they look at it and think of me, then they know that's a perfect gift for me. It could be $5, it could be $50, it could be anywhere in between. But the fact that when they looked at that particular item, it said, Kathleen would love this, and they got it, is what matters. Then you want to think about um, perhaps um, the places that people go, uh, the things that they do, or maybe the things that they complain about, that they wish they had such and such would make this easier. There's just so many little hints like that throughout the year that people drop. So listen, pay attention, think about it a little, and you'll be able to select the perfect gift. And don't forget the gifts that don't cost anything but your time. Those gifts are very special as well. Sometimes it's practical to give those and other times it's not. So you have to kind of know yourself what your time limits are, what the other person um, would appreciate, and take it from there. But even those kind of gifts, even a gift card or a coupon for a service or something like that that you're doing, can be wrapped up and given with presents. So let me show you a few of my secrets on how I do that. First of all, I gather little items during the year, ornaments from the dollar store, little picks that um, you find at the craft store, maybe silk flowers uh, that are shorter on the stems, little, again, this is a little snowflake ornament. These little butterflies I fell in love with the other day. Of course, they're pink and they're sparkly. They have little clips on them. They're actually a tree ornament. But, not only will I use these on my tree, I will also use them throughout the year for other events, but I will probably also take a couple and stick them on a few packages, which I'll show you a little bit later in the segment. You want to make sure that you have a glue gun, some really sharp scissors, a few other items. Um, I like little feathery things, so I look for little pieces of feather. Tool is a wonderful tool to use when you're um, doing some fun and creative gift wrap. Curling ribbon. This is so inexpensive and you can pick this up. These um, bolts, I don't know how many yards are on here, but they were only two dollars a piece. So um, keep your eyes out for things like that. If you like to go with a more natural or nature-based theme, this is just twine and a button and some rickrack. You could use paper bags or newspaper or uh, the rolls of brown craft paper. Those would make um, perfect elements for that. Then you could collect pine cones and you know maybe nuts and things like that that you could also hot glue as you build your bow on your package. One of the things I like to do is keep my eyes peeled during the year 
for more neutral papers like this. This It's hard to see on the camera, but it's a tone-on-tone -tone damask paper that might typically be used for a wedding. But don't stick it in that box of wedding only. This would be beautiful birthday wrap. You could use it for Christmas. Change the color of the bow that you would put on the package. This bow here was made with pretty sheer brown ribbon, a touch of pink, and just a little pink rosebud. So this could very well be used for a wedding gift or for a female friend um, that you want to give a special, elegant kind of wrapped gift for. Okay, the um, key to giving presents to your presents is thinking about what will make them look special so that the, the person you're giving them to just can't wait to get into it. But on the other hand, it looks so pretty that they don't want to tear it apart. And uh, I have a friend who is so near and dear to my heart and she just makes the most beautiful toppings on her gifts. And I'm gonna share a few of those at the end of the segment with you. But it's, it's just as much fun to look at the gift and know that I'm going to be able to keep that topping that she put on it and reuse it myself as it is to open up the gift. So, so kind of think about that. And whether you're, you know, a more simple, like I said, nature-minded or just real basic, um, you can still embellish your gifts. And then if you kind of are like me and you really like to go all out, you can do that too. Um, one thing I like to use for kind of odd sized gifts that you can't put in a nice box or wrap neatly is a gift bag. Now this gift bag I purchased, uh, I usually pick a theme each year for my holidays and um, last year was pink and green, surprise, surprise. Uh, and this year actually I got such a good deal on all of the papers and the bags and the ribbons that I used, I'm probably going to use that same theme again this year. And that's another tip. When you're out and about, you find a really good deal and it's something that you'll be able to use, stock up on it. And then when you need it, it's there. You don't have to run out and spend twice or three times as much for wrapping paper or whatever, uh, ribbons and embellishments. You'll have them there. When you're in the dollar store, um, after a season, uh, you know, they do clearance. After the holidays, they do clearance. Look for those sales and just grab up little things, stick them in a plastic bin, and then you have your wrapping station um, and your elements all ready. So this is a gift bag that I actually loved and I purchased several of last year. And it's pretty on its own. It says, tis the season, and it's embellished a little bit. I picked a really pretty darker green paper to complement the pink and green. But I like to embellish things a bit. So the curly ribbon, I took several strands of it, knotted them together, tied the little handle together, and then just used my scissors to curl the ribbon. It just gives it a little bit more pizzazz, a little bit more presence. If you wanted to take it a step further, you could even tie something like this little snowflake ornament on and let that dangle. And then they're, they're also receiving another gift they could put this on their Christmas tree or in a window or something. So that's an easy way to embellish a gift bag. And let's face it, they are easy. They're quick and easy to use. So if that's your preferred way of, of presenting a present, then go for it. And there's so many fun gift bags at so many different price points. You can find what you want that fits your budget. A few other things that I'd like to mention are um, packages that are kind of already wrapped. Um, this is a beautiful um, box that I found. These were at, again, at a discount store for just a couple dollars a piece. So I did stock up. So that again, if you wanna give a bottle of champagne or a gourmet vinegar or olive oil to somebody who likes to cook, um, or even, you could even put uh, a bunch of little Christmas ornaments or other little gifts that you wrap in tissue paper, you could pack up in here. It's There's so many different things that you can do. And then you just would attach a pretty um, gift tag or you could embellish the top of this with something like this little this little winter pick with the little pine cones and a little ribbon. Just hot glue that on the top and you further embellished the package for this. These little um, 
Fabric wraps are wonderful as well. They sell these. This one happens to have a little elastic top. Sometimes they're just a round piece of fabric. These are wonderful, again, for wrapping up odd size gifts. This I pulled up over, this is a, a bottle of sparkling cider that was actually a, um, a little um, hostess gift or something like that, or a favor, maybe at, a, at an open house that I did. So I wrapped it up with these little fabric things, got some of this pretty gold fuzzy, um, I, it's not really a ribbon, but uh, you can use it as a ribbon. And then again, another little pick, I just tucked that in, and there you go, you have a pretty little package that um, is perfect for wrapping up a hostess gift or something like that, or a party favor if you're, you're giving out um, some kind of a favor at an open house. This is a fun way to wrap up. This was a favor for an event I did, but I have wrapped gifts for, uh, for different people, different times like this. This is a really pretty uh, floral coffee mug inside here. So what I did was I tucked some um, tissue paper inside there, a few other little gifts, then I took this sparkly pink tool, brought it up, tied it, and tied it with a bow. Simple, but pretty and elegant. Again, you could attach, um, I probably would attach something like this little butterfly. You could attach that on there as well if you wanted to further embellish it. Or something a little smaller, something a little bigger, a silk flower. There's so many possibilities. This cute little bucket, it's all sparkly with uh, snowflakes and some feathers around the top. These were on clearance at, um, I think, Pier 1 or something, one year after Christmas for like $1.50 a piece. It's a little tin bucket. What a perfect way to package up a gift, or again, to give out when you have a party. And remember I talked about tool being a wonderful tool. You could wrap whatever you're putting inside there with this white tool, attach this little snowflake, and you've got a beautiful little package for whoever you're giving it to. And then, for pre-made containers, I have one more here to show you. This is a little gift box. Um, this was just a couple of dollars. You can use the, sh the shred inside if you want, or tissue paper, or tool. And again, this the gift wrap is actually part of the gift. Your uh, The recipient will be able to use that for either giving a gift of their own to someone else, or as a decoration during the holidays. So this is a, a really pretty little, uh, pretty well-made box and hard to believe that it was just a couple of dollars. So again, it's kind of maybe cheating a little bit, but it's easy, elegant, and it works. So don't be afraid to utilize things like this to make it easy on yourself. You want your holidays to be easy and elegant. There's no rule that says you have to slay for hours and hours and hours. Make it fun, make it simple, and make it elegant. So give presents with presents. Now, in the next segment, I'm gonna show you a couple of little tricks to make your packages even more special. Thank you.